New surveillance video shows a suspected thief prowling at night in a Union City neighborhood. It shows a young woman being dropped off in a cul-de-sac. She then checks door handles on cars. Thankfully, none of them were unlocked. The neighbors tell us they are tired of the crime. Now, Fox Five's Morse Diggs is live in Union City tonight. Morse, uh, people tell you that they're ready to take matters into their own hands. What do they mean by that? Well, what they mean is that they're participating in a free trial program in which off-duty police officers are patrolling these neighborhoods, and they're going to try to get up the funding amongst themselves to make those patrols regular. Now, they did not see what we're showing you in real time. It was 3.30 in the morning when they reviewed the video afterward. The images left them steaming. Um, during the day, you can't tell anything is going on out here. But in the wee hours of the morning when everyone's asleep, you know, that's when they're doing it. A well-kept neighborhood south of Atlanta that looks safe by day gives way to night crawlers seeking to commit crime under the cover of darkness. A camera catches a young woman running up to vehicles checking door handles, one after another before going back to the vehicle that had just dropped her off. Doesn't surprise me that's a woman. It's unfortunate it's not going to stop until someone is hurt. It was 3.30 in the morning. How many other cul-de-sacs in Union City did the crew try before sunup? Attorney asked Josie, who used to prosecute cases in Union City and the rest of Fulton County, talked about why what are thought to be good neighborhoods are more likely to get hit overnight. You have the combination of people home but asleep. So the cars are there but you don't have much threat that somebody might walk out of the house and see something either at their own home or at a neighbor's home. People are greedy and they're not afraid to take somebody else's stuff. One of the resident's cars was entered before the video we're showing you. And although they didn't break in the window, I knew somebody was in my car. That never happened to me. I felt violated. I felt sick. It doesn't have to be a, a window broken. Uh, the crime is entering an automobile, and it can be a separate crime from each car that an individual attempts to break into. We're getting fed up. Everybody works hard for everything they have, and it's not fair for you to come in and take it. And something's going to happen.